Hey everybody, this is Eric from Phone Scoop, and today we are taking a, uh, a quick look at the Samsung Dart, a um, lower-end Android handset for the T-Mobile network. Um, the Dart is a uh, it's a pretty small device. Um, it's got a pretty small footprint compared to some of the super slabs that are out there. Got a little bit of a smaller screen here on the front, and you can see we've got four capacitive touch keys here at the bottom of the display for interacting with the Android menus. On the left side, we have volume toggle. Uh, this button feels great. It, uh, it stands out nicely and has, uh, has good travel and feedback. Nothing along the bottom. On the right, we have a uh, port for a micro SD card that isn't too difficult to get off, as well as the uh, power and lock key. I don't really like the positioning of this key. I would prefer that it be on the top of the phone, but this key does feel good. It has uh, good travel and feedback. On the back of the phone, you can see the camera, and if we look at the top, you can see the 3.5mm headset jack and the micro USB port, uh, which is covered up there by a hatch, and uh, that's a pretty big hatch for, uh, for such a small, small port. Um, the device is, uh, is a little bit on the thick side for its small footprint, but it feels good. The plastics feel good. Uh, the overall fit and finish and quality of the phone is, uh, is very solid, and... Uh, I like the way it feels in the hand. It's a uh, good size for gripping and is smooth for um, easy uh, access in a pocket. Now that we've taken a quick tour of the hardware of the Samsung Dart, let's take a quick look at the uh, user operating system. We've got Android 2.2 Froyo on board, which sees minimal customization uh, from Samsung and T-Mobile, thankfully. It's uh, near to a Google experience, but not quite. We do have uh, seven home screens, which of course can be, um, you can uh, delete a couple of the home screens if you don't need that many. And of the home screens that remain, you can uh, use, uh, you can put anything on here. We can uh, throw uh, shortcuts, widgets, whatever. Let's, uh, let's, let's add a clock here. So we've got a uh, clock now uh, on that screen. And you can see we've got quick access to some of the radios and other controls here. And up in the menu bar, if you slip that down, we've got access to some of the same controls. So those are available pretty much in any uh, screen or application on the device. Um, main menu, jumping into the app menu, we'll see uh, there are three screens. Uh, there are about 30 applications preloaded on this phone. And you swipe sideways on them instead of... Uh, um, up and down as you would on uh, on some Android devices and of course the more apps you download and install on the device the more pages and screens of, of applications you'll have. We've got a pretty good selection of apps on here uh, of course there's a camera, um, email, Gmail, search, Latitude uh, we've seen Latitude more and more on Google handsets these days uh, Swipe software is, is pre-installed for those who prefer that type of, uh, of software QWERTY uh, input and of course, uh, Wi-Fi calling on T-Mobile's uh, uh, one of T-Mobile services, so that you can uh, place calls through your home Wi-Fi router. So, the uh, Samsung Dart is a, a small and affordable phone. Uh, it's uh, fairly attractive, and the hardware is well put together. Feels good in the hand, and with Android 2.2 on board. Uh, you've got a pretty good operating system, and, uh, and it offers a very good experience overall. So there it is, the Samsung Dart for T-Mobile.